Hey guys, my name is Joshua C1. And I'm John or C2. And we're here to thank you guys for 5,000 subscribers. We hit the milestone early today around like 2 a.m. And we also hit 125,000 video views. And to celebrate, we're going to be doing a giveaway slash halfway tutorial on how to work our layer text Lightroom and what you can do with it. Before we get into the video, we'd like to ask for 200 likes. It's a pretty fair amount to ask for. That way we know that the video is appreciated and that you guys will be looking forward to downloading it. And it's not really that hard to hit considering our displacement pack that we just gave away. I think it's at 150 or 160 likes right now and that wasn't even really big. That was our first giveaway. So 200 likes, we should be able to smash that on this. So um, I'm going to get right into it with uh, the tutorial so uh, as you can see I'm gonna do a little breakdown of our layer text and if I come to the side you'll see actually how many layers are involved with this so um, for a little breakdown we have the step idea and uh, again we decided to do a giveaway slash like half tutorial on this because if I was to do a full tutorial on this there's so many little intricate things that go into making this it's insane it would take me easily over like an hour and a half just to record myself doing a tutorial and not to mention how many times I would mess up so um I'll, like I said I'll do a little breakdown as you can see the strength on the steps really uh, brings it out and is an animation really so what the step does is it brings the layers up or down depending on how you have it uh, the cloner if I turn this off, you can see it's just one simple extrude nerves on a spline with a bevel. So uh, it's really just that that actual, yeah that adds to it, and the step affects the cloner. So uh, then you have the extrude nerves, which just brings out the spline mask, which uh, I'll show you what that does. Basically, you have this spline right here, this big thing that's cutting into the text. All right, and then. Uh, that's because in the mode it has A subtract B so excuse me you have uh, the text subtracting the spline so um, and that gives it like the little curves and stuff that would come out here the like natural looking curves from the spline so um, yeah that's pretty much the breakdown of this if you come here this is where you change the text and I'll have Josh type something in, you or you change, can change the change font. Change the font, or if I wanted to put composited, or C1. You see, and that's where you change that. It'll at. change, and you can move it around. It'll actually change the way that the object is affected by the step and how many lines you can get through it. If you bring your light or your text line up too far, it starts disappear. cutting it off. It'll cut off, or if you bring it down, it'll get rid of the step effector. Because it's not within the area that it affects. Um, another thing that people have been asking is how to import clan AIs. So if I'm going to show you how guys how to do that. I'm just going to go to my resources and I'll pull out the Darth logo. And what you do is I'm going to center up really quick. You're going to drag your logo over about where your text is normally. Bring it up. And then what you do is you replace the text spline with the clan spline and you move it to however you want. Now normally it's really hard to get a fully perfect idea as you can see there's kind of some displacement within the layers but that's just because not all splines are perfect. Perfect. That's that's kind of what it comes down to. Splines are really just points so if it reads the point wrong then obviously it's gonna mess up so that's what the step effector does. It just reads where the points are and then it goes accordingly with it. So um, you have to make sure you have this, your spline that you're using above the spline dot one or else it will look funky like how I showed you guys before. And uh, yeah, I mean that, that's really it. Um, I want to, I really want to see what people can come up with using this. I know we've gotten our use out of it and that's why we're passing it on to you guys. And um, Expect more tutorials in the future. On New Year's, we're going to be having... Uh, or sometime around New Year's, yeah. we'll be doing a progression of all the works that we've used that have been used on channels. I've kind of been keeping a stock I of haven't. all that have been used. And we're going to put together a little video sometime after New Year's just to show what we've done and 
you know, just a little show reel of 2013. And also that will probably include um, a thank you towards some of the people that have really helped out our channel and got us moving. I mean, 5,000 subscribers is a huge milestone, especially under a year. Um, we also have almost 2,500 Twitter followers, so if you guys want to keep up to date with us, be sure to follow our Twitter, at Composited. And, yeah, we always reply to tweets, and if you need anything, be sure to, uh, tweet us. And, yeah, thank you again. Um, thank you. Thank you, yeah, that's all we can really do, it's just, it's such a mind-blowing milestone. It's stunning, considering where we were, like, two Dude, years ago not even when we started in this community. Like, when I first started, I, I was always doing the graphic design, but Josh was an editor and a feeder, and he's been, like, he, he's basically been everything you can be. So when we started doing the dual channel, we didn't really think much of it, because I never really got anywhere doing my graphics, but... The dual channel just kind of exploded, exploded because we set ourselves apart from what everybody else were do, was doing, especially with the layer text. That was a big help to just getting our name out there and just coming up with something that no one else has done yet in the YouTube community here. So, uh, like we said, guys, thank you so much. It's insane to think that we have 5,000 subscribers on one YouTube channel. That's almost as many people that live in our town. So yeah. that's that's really crazy. Thank you guys so much. Thank and you. <laughs> expect much more coming in the future. We have so many things planned, not only graphics, but we're hoping to upload some PC content and hope to build a PC fan base. And more more updates on that will be coming probably in the New Year's video. That'll probably be, like I said, a big real uh, update type thing. So make sure you look out for that. So uh, thank you guys. Thank you again. This is C1. And C2. And we're out. Have a great New Year's.